Well, tonight I'm going to be focusing on the exuberant world of green buildings and perhaps the surprising role that green buildings can play in combating climate change if we all participate. What do I mean by a green building? Well, this is a sweet building. It's got a, clearly, clearly, a, you're getting worried now, but it's clearly, it's clearly got a vegetative roof. It's a sweet building. It's actually in Findhorn, Scotland, but that isn't exactly what I had in mind. Um, it's maybe like this elementary school in Washington or the School of Public Nursing uses 80% less energy than the building next to it built in the 70s. Or maybe it's the uh, convent for sisters in Michigan, the largest residential renovation project in the country. Or maybe it's this million square foot prefab plant, Texas Instruments. Name a kind of building anywhere in the country and you can find a green example today. This is the world of green buildings. And what, what is similar across all of them is an attention to detail, to environmental performance in five major areas. In energy, certainly, energy efficiency and renewable energy. In how a site is developed. In how water is conserved. In the materials that are used. And then also, importantly, the indoor environmental quality. What makes it all work together is what we call an integrated design process. And by that, I mean having key members of the building team. I'm talking about the developer, the contractor, the landscape architect, the architect, engineers, getting together at the front end of the project to decide what are our goals for it. For example, good example in Portland, when the owner and the developer decided they wanted a building to be 50% more energy efficient. That impacted decisions all through the rest of the, the design performance, how they oriented the building on the site, what kind of materials they used. This is the key to today's high performance, affordable, cost-effective buildings. And if we don't do it that way, as Amory Lovins with the Rocky Mountain Institute says, you can optimize each of the systems, but then you pessimize the overall system. How do you know if a building is green? Well, the standard definition for green in this country that Everett referred to is the LEAD, the Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design Program created by the U.S. Green Building Council. And it's not only a set of design guidelines, it's also a third-party certification system, which is important, increasingly important in today's market of greenwash. And it's also a program for accrediting people, an LAP after your name, and I know we have at least one of them uh, here tonight, means that they have taken training and testing to be certified as a green building specialist. Uh, there are four different levels of achievement in LEED. That's um, uh, the, the reason for the various medals there. Certified, silver, gold, and platinum. 